Soldakers, congratulations. Yep. And the new English the new. heavyweight champion. Uh, you spoke it into existence. You yep. said this would happen. You manifested having that belt yep. around your shoulder. How do you feel? I feel good. You know, it's you know my first title. Got that feeling for a bit of uh, silverware. You know, I, I was up against the you know away crowd and everything, but um, kept my composure. Took my time and second round stoppage come. Let's talk about the stoppage. Um, Rob Ismay had a bit to say from my ringside perspective. It looked like the towel was in the hands of those in the corner anyway. Yeah. Did you feel like if it wasn't in that exchange, it would have been very soon after? Yeah, it was coming soon. You know, I was hitting him a lot of clean shots and he was um, he was stumbling forward onto me and um, I was just going to keep throwing him. You know, I wasn't going to stop, was I? So if it weren't, then it would have been um, in a few seconds later. He had a lot to say in the build-up and all fighters will tell you that talk is cheap in yeah, this game. Cheap. You said his best performance was at the press conference this week. Yeah, and how did the uh, How did the... The bark compared to the bite this evening? We can see the evidence, you know, two rounds, you know, I said before the fight, you know, let's see how long it can last and uh, two rounds seems to be the answer. So um, I'm not one for bashing a man when they're down, but he did talk it up beforehand and uh, the job's done now. He said a few things, uh, what we're talking about then, that, you know, you didn't carry the one punch power. D did you have the bit between your teeth to, to make that type of statement? Because it was a spiteful performance tonight. Yeah, I, you know, like anyone in the ring, you know, I want to get him out of there. And, you know, he was, he was throwing a few punches, you know, he was trying to um, exchange with me. So that's when I found a few more openings. And, yeah, I did have that little bit about me where I thought, you know, I want to get this guy out of there, you know, for the talk, talk he's been doing. Sokolowski, probably your best performance before tonight. Yeah. What did we see that was able, enabled you to, to perform to the level that you did tonight from his major thing? Yeah, you know, um, the opponent, you know, coming for it a bit more. Um, gave me a few more openings and I've been working I'm always in the gym working on stuff trying to improve so I was working on putting my shots together me and Max have been doing that you know a lot you know and we've been working on the power punches you know with the power pad everything and um, just a small glimpse of it's come there you know and we've got you know 10 round fights to come now and championship fights so just got more and more to show experience for you of course winning the belt and, and we joked about it during the build up but also you know, the experience of the back and forth of the away crowd, it's yeah. all learning, isn't it, for you at this stage? Yeah. 100%. You know, it's, I said um, it's going to happen down the line at some point. So um, it's, it's gave me a good feel for it, you know, to try and get into my head and all that. But I'm a calm guy, you know, I don't let anything phase me like that. And I've just dealt with it really well. So that just shows my temperament. That composure you do have, how important do you think that's going to be as you do move forward and you move into more difficult fights, of course? Yeah, very important because, you know, there's going to be tougher fights where... You know, it's not going to be in two rounds. I might be six, seven rounds deep and, you know, we might be, uh, you know, in a bit more deep waters, keeping my cool and uh, that's when it's going to show against high level opposition. I want to let you enjoy tonight. I'm sure you've got a little holiday planned as well. Very well deserved. But in your mind, so immediately in victory, what, what do you see as being the next logical option, do you think? Um, see what my team thinks. You know, the logical step is English title, British title. So something like that, you know, one or two fights. But you can't forget, that's only my sixth fight and I've got titles, 10 round fights and I'm in title fights. So uh, we'll see what my team does, but I know I'm at the level where I can go for these fights. You know, I make no bones about it. I'm ready to go at any level. Are you interested in going the traditional route? Do you think in, in many years to come when, when you've hung up the gloves that, that you'd like to be out to say you won all there was to win domestically? 100%, you know, English title now. British title is a great bout, prestigious bout. Every fighter wants to win it in Britain. So I'd 100% want to go that route. But well, the man who does hold that belt is Fabio Wardley. He yeah. used to hold that belt as well. He's, yeah. he's working his way up the ladder. I'm, on his, I'm on his tail, man. I'm on his tail. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about Fabio Wardley? Yeah, you know, he's, he's performed really well, you know, especially coming from a white collar background. And, um, you know, what can I say? He's, he's done well and he's doing really well for, um, for where he's come from. And, you know, if, if me and him have to get in the ring, I'll just uh, put my performance in there and show what I can do. In terms of self belief, that's, that's a big part of this sport um, yeah. in this day and age and always has been. But, Heading into a fight potentially with Fabio Wardley, how much self-belief would you carry that that's a fight you'd win? 100%. You know, I believe I'm levels above these guys domestically. I believe you know, I could challenge for world titles. I believe if, if tonight I was in a world title fight, I wouldn't look too out of place. You know what I mean? So I think I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Final message, Sol. Not much support in terms of uh, <laughs> that we could hear it in the ring for you tonight. Very much an Ismay-friendly yeah, crowd. Yeah. But for those watching at home as well, what's your final message tonight? You know, everyone that tuned in, you know, you just saw a little bit, another glimpse of what I'm about. You know, I've got the um, stoppages on my record. They're going to start coming now, trust me. And uh, just keep watching and tune in and we'll see where we go. Potentially Soul Dakers versus Fabio Wardley. I don't think anyone would turn their nose up at that fight. But until then, and the new Soul, congratulations. Right, well done. Nice one. Cheers.